Yeah, let's talk about this controversy because that was a big fucking thing big, for a second there. Big, big thing. Yeah. So, yeah, 2013. So, I had just started kind of recording regular, like, uploads to YouTube. You know, for the most part, everybody I've met in the YouTube community has actually been pretty cool. But unfortunately, my introduction to the YouTube fitness community was not good. <laughs> People started, like, tweeting me and Facebooking me. They said, hey, have you seen this, this criticism of your research by Jason Blaha? who people considered an expert, despite his claims, mm. is fat, never has been in good shape. The The leanest picture we have of him, he doesn't have abs, mm. and he's never he doesn't have a degree in anything. He claims he What's his background? A liar. Yeah. They're like... <laughs> um, if you're... Is, is that if, it? Can you sign if you have, that, that, if you That's have, a title. If yeah. you have no yeah. conscience, I'm you can say whatever the fuck you want about anything. Mm. Yeah, he's a mercenary. Yes, yes. Claimed he was a mercenary, worked for the CIA... Uh, trained at the farm in Langley, which, by the way, the farm is not fucking at Langley. <laughs> First clue. So, anyways, people sent me the, these videos of him supposedly criticizing my research, and I started watching the video. Now, which research was this that he was criticizing? Uh, some of my PhD research okay. on uh, on Lucy. Lucy okay. does. You know, I started watching, and I'm like, I watched two minutes of it, and first off, there's like stuffed animals in the background and shit, and I'm just like, who's going to take this guy seriously, you know? And he's like hitting a bicep shot, but has no biceps, mm. you know? I'm like, is... Is this like a joke or something? I just after two minutes, it was very apparent that he had not read my research in any way, shape, or form, and I just turned it off. I'm like, nobody's gonna take this guy seriously, and people took him fucking seriously. So did you I, get a lot of hate from that? Uh, yeah. At well, this people, time, did he? Did he, they, he said, basically what he said was that you couldn't trust my research because it was funded by supplement companies. Oh. Uh, right. Uh, no, which someone, it wasn't. How, how which large? It wasn't. How large of a following did he have this time? Was he pretty big? Or it was, was he... probably between Facebook and YouTube around hundred thousand. Oh, okay. So, um, God, he has that many fucking followers. It's disturbing. You know, I'm actually less mad at him and more upset that people would be willing to follow somebody like that. <laughs> well, come on, we like, got for, we got the Kardashians. That for are for example, yeah. for you know, if, if you if you have a sign on a fence and it says "Beware, rabid dog," and you go inside and you get bit by the dog, should you be mad at the dog or are you just a fucking idiot? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> no, you shouldn't be mad at the dog. The dog did what it's going to do. He's got some kind of disorder. He's going to do what he's supposed to do. You're just not supposed to follow him and take him fucking seriously, mm. right? So so this is what, one of those examples where I should have just been like, the guy's a lunatic. Just he's weird. Him. I should have just ignored him, yeah. right? But That's very self-aware for you to pick that up now. So Yeah, well, <laughs> <laughs> I've had a lot of likes experience. So I made a tweet, something to the effect of, you know, Yes, some guy sitting on his couch recording to a camera is better qualified to discuss my research than me. And this is one of those guys who is an escalator, right? He'll never de-escalate a situation and will never admit that he was wrong about mm -hmm. anything. Mm -hmm. Anything. And I, I've got a story about that that I'll tell here in a second. And so then it, it was, he needed to take it to the next level, which was not only was my research fabricated, but I was also on steroids. And people just accepted this as fact. And it actually, like, it generated, I mean, hundreds if not thousands of comments on my youtube emails and you know i could have tolerated most of it until he put out a video the day my son was born like to generate hate don't tell me that was by accident mm -hmm. wow. he did the same thing to jerry which i'm not a big fan of jerry ward but the day jerry ward's dad died blaha put out a video talking shit about jerry ward Ted he's and filthy huh oh he's a piece of shit so, and I have no problem saying that. Like, he's a human piece of fucking shit. Mm -hmm. um, there's no redeeming qualities about this individual. So, anyway, some of his fans, one of them in particular, said that he would like to beat my wife and uh, beat my son till he's a paraplegic. Mm. And I don't care. He will say, oh, mm -hmm. well, you, you, you can't take that serious. That's, that's a, just that's somebody messing around. Cross. I don't cross. give a fuck. If you have kids, anybody out there who has kids... If that doesn't raise the hairs in the back of your neck and make you want to go fucking ape shit, there's something wrong with you. You know what I mean? So I finally got to the point where I'm like, I'm I'm not going to, you know, so, some people need to realize that there's consequences to their actions. You can't just mm -hmm. say whatever the hell you want and have nothing happen. He lived in the UK. Uh, he was married to a gal over there. He was not a citizen of the UK. He's he from the United States. Ironically, getting disability benefits from the United States, by oh, the way. Wow. Um, He's a great guy. But still, way. oh, he has a disability, but can still lift, still compete in fucking powerlifting, right? Mm -hmm. Claimed he has Meniere's disease. Maybe he does, maybe he doesn't. But his first wife has commented multiple times that they were never able to actually find anything wrong with him. And that all he did was sit around and play World of Warcraft for 10 hours a day. Mm. Mr. Mercenary, CIA operative, <laughs> fucking World of Warcraft. Ooh, it all makes so sense now. So I... Decided, okay, I hired a firm over in the UK because I could sue him here, but it would have no 
unless he came back to the USA, there's no recourse, mm-hmm. okay. right? So I hired a firm over there, and I just wanted to send a cease and desist letter. And I, you know, I figured, all right, if I show this guy I'm serious, he'll just chill the fuck out, you know. And uh, what's that process like too? Does that cost a lot of money to do that? To send- <sighs> just to send the cease and desist letter was like six thousand mm-hmm. dollars. Wow, you know, because the, the exchange rate's killer too. Mm-hmm. So I did that. We sent a cease and desist letter, and immediately he sent an email saying, "I'm, you know, I think we've had some." misunderstanding. I don't know what the fuck you can misunderstand. He's like, I, you know, I'd like to make a public apology to you. I'd like to call you on the phone and apologize. And I would like to make a reasonable payment of damages. And I thought, okay, this thing's going to come to an end. You know what I mean? Like I fine. And I asked my attorneys, I'm like, listen, what's a, what's a reasonable compensation? What's reasonable to ask for? They said, definitely a public apology that you have to approve before it goes up. So it can't be like some thinly veiled, like sarcastic apology. Right. And you should get all of your attorney fees, which that at that point was like twelve to $15,000, I think, and damages. I said, okay. I said, listen, listen. I just want this whole fucking thing to be over with. And I think what I decided on was I, I just want half of my attorney fees. If I get half and I get an apology, it was more of a token thing. Like, he could have come back and said, listen, I, all I can pay is 1000 bucks. Fine. Just a token, right? Like, I just wanted... Just admitting it. Just admit it. You know what I mean? He went... Full fucking crazy mode. Like, sent a, sent a ter- letter back to my attorneys and said, because my attorney said, okay, this is his, our client against our advice has offered to take half of our fees and no damages and a public apology. So I was, I think it was asking for $6,000 basically, or 6,000 pounds because it was, mm-hmm. it was UK, British. He came back and said, I'm not going to pay anything and I'm going to report you for fraud because you have obviously fraudulently inflated your fees you know, accuse my attorneys of, of fraud. By the way, this this firm, Withers, is very well known and a very, very prestigious firm over in the UK. And my attorneys came back to me. They're like, this guy's nuts. <laughs> you know, like they, 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 this guy's nuts. So we had to sue him because not, not only that, but he, he put it out in video, like what had happened and that we were fraudulent and he was reporting me to the IRS for fraud and all oh, this wow. kind of stuff. So we sued him. How old, how old are you? Where are you at in your career right uh, now? 31 years old, 31. I think, at that point. No, uh, 32 years old. Mm. So we sued him because at that point it was more about a point of principle. I didn't want to. Of course, I didn't want to send a cease and desist and then not follow through on it. I mean, you look know? like, like a bitch if you do that, right? No, exactly. you'll embolden him if you don't. Exactly. And you know, I'm the kind of person. I'm the exact opposite of him uh, in every single way. <laughs> if I tell you I'm going to do something, I will fucking do it. Okay. I don't just talk. I do it. All right. This guy, all he is, is a talker. Right. So we send the lawsuit, which he promptly posts on his Facebook. Right, posted all online. Enormous amounts of hate. Well, actually, at that point, the guy who used to own the gym he went to emails me and said, thank you so much. This guy is a piece of shit. He said, um, I kicked him out of my gym because I found him. He was sending messages to one of my trainers about how to take steroids. And what happened was the guy who owned the gym didn't kick him out for that. He just went up to him and said, hey, listen, you know, I saw that you're giving advice to one of my trainers about taking steroids. You know, what you do with your own body, is that, that's fine. But I would just really appreciate it if you didn't do that. And he goes, well, I didn't do that. And I said, well, I, I saw the emails. And he's like, it wasn't me. He literally had to physically take the laptop and show it to Blaha. This is, this is what he told me. Show it to Blaha. And even then, Blaha didn't admit that he did it. He just kind of grumbled and stopped. He sounds off. a little delusional, yeah. oh. if you ask me. <laughs> Pathological. So we just wait. Yeah. So he got kicked out of his gym because the guy was like, at that point, I was like, well, you know, fuck you, guy, you know. Mm-hmm. So I was like, he's like, thank you for doing that because because then Blaha made a video saying he got kicked out of his gym because he talks about steroids on YouTube. That's not why he got kicked out of his gym. He got kicked out of his gym for being an asshole. Wow. You know what I mean? But he made his gym owner look bad, and his gym owner got a lot of hate mail from people. You know, and people like rating his gym down on Google and shit because they believed Blaha, you mm-hmm. know. So anyway, you know, Blaha made all these big statements about he like dressed up in Spartan attire and said he was going to war. And like <laughs> he said he was going to rape what? me. In co- there's, there's screenshots of all Wait, this. So he's gonna what? He was going to rape me in court. <laughs> Oh. That he was glad I sued him because now he's been all this. He's not money. physically there for a second. Yeah, <laughs> so, <laughs> I'm gonna fucking rape Wayne when I right? get there. <laughs> so, so th- he didn't even fucking show up <laughs> to court. He didn't show up. Oh my god. No, we and and, and know, now, now how much now how much money are you into this? Because you now you did cease this. Now you had fucking court. So I know fees are starting to pile up. Uh, over six figures. What? Whoa! God damn it! Wow! God and damn no, it! Nothing accomplished. You had no. Uh, you're that. You know deep. what though? You know what though? It ended up. In God a way, it was worth it because now people see what a piece of shit he is. 
And he has, like, there are tons of people who are. And you know what? At the end of the day, he may, he actually parades around, like, he thinks it's less than that. Actually, he thought, he thought I spent like 30000 or whatever. What I don't care. It's just money. My reputation is way more important to me than the amount of, amount of money. And I'll make that back. Yeah. I'll make that back doing something positive with my life. You are nothing. So this guy, he didn't show up. And he makes a video saying, why they neglected to tell me when the court, ca- when the time was and where it was. We posted an email of my attorneys emailing him the date, the location, their phone number in case he had any questions, as well as a fucking map with directions and where to park and all this kind of stuff. Of course, he's not going to show up because he can't admit he did anything wrong. Mm. And the judge, the judge literally put in the judgment that he has no one to blame but himself for for what's going on. So he got he got a judgment. It was like twenty three thousand pounds of an intermittent payment that he was supposed to pay me interim payment while they're waiting to assess damages. Yeah. How many how many how many how many pounds have you received? Yeah, big zero. Yeah, wow. that's the, that's so, a shitty part about stuff like this, you know. Yeah. No, no. And what you find is like I, I tell people now, like avoid lawsuits at all costs if you can, because it, somebody can just not pay you. Mm-hmm. Like if they're a piece of shit, they just won't pay you. But you know what? He had to move back to the states because you know what? Other countries when you're when you're not a resident. You're not a citizen. They don't like it when you move over there and start a bunch of shit, you know, and found, he found out that my best guess is his wife actually probably got sick of his shit um, because he actually he made a threat against my my wife and son. I, I have I have it screenshotted and it said, um, well, because if he was if if you have a if you're bankrupted because of a debt that you don't pay, they can actually deport you mm. if you're not a citizen. And he said, well, if I'm. If I am forced to be away from my wife, I will have to take his family out as revenge. 